Hello everyone, my name is Matt Gilmore and this is uh, my ambassador to our ministry, Peg Sealing Paws, which is our teddy bear ministry and we speak out for depression awareness. Most of you know us in our videos and you see me and this bear and many other bears and we're up to some crazy antics. You've probably seen screams to squid head, uh, Al me being attacked by Al and and all kinds of other crazy antics that we're doing in our videos to try to entertain you and, and bring a little humor and light to your day. Uh, but every now and then we have to do certain things. Uh, and one of them is, uh, uh, and we do all that while trying to bring you a message about depression awareness. But we also have to do service announcements. This is one of them. Uh, and then we just talk about why we do what we do. Uh, and why do we do this is because we are growing. Our Facebook page is growing um, more and more. I used to have about 150 friends. We're probably pushing more like about around 100, about 550 now. Uh, and so as we add them over the course of the year, uh, the Lord has spoken in my heart and saying, you need to give them an update so they kind of understand what's going on with you. So they, you know, and that's what we are trying to do here today. So... With that ado, uh, here we go. We're all about trying to teach people about depression awareness. And how do we do that? We're, we're not psychologists. We're not counselors. Uh, we're, we're not trying to draw people out of, the, out of their depression cone. And so we can say, we need to sit down and have a conversation. That's not what we're about. What we're about is trying to keep people from going there in the first place. About, uh, we're all about trying to get people to simply recognize uh, what depression comes from. Where is this coming from? Because most often, as I have experienced in my life, and so has my wife Lisa, that depression normally, when it comes to light, it, the person is already deep down in this thing and they have no idea how they're going to get out. Uh, because they're lost, they don't know how they got there. And so what we try to do is we try to share with people what causes depression. And we have the top 10 causes of depression on how people end up there in the first place. I want to show you something. It's kind of big, but here we go. If you can focus in on this. These are the top 10 causes of depression. Um, you might want to pause the video if you want to stop and read these. Uh, zoom in, focus on it, do a screenshot. And we want you to do that because we want you to be able to take a picture of this, put it on your refrigerator. So here, I'm going to talk about them very briefly and then we'll go from there. Uh, the top 10 causes of depression, let me set this down real quick, will be... First and foremost, not having God in your life. If you don't have God in your life, uh, you're, you're going to end up going down depression uh, at some point in your life. Uh, whether you realize or not. Because when you don't have God, you ain't got nothing. If you don't have the Lord Jesus Christ in your life, you ain't got nothing. Okay? The number two, genetics and biology. Yes, gen your, your genetic, uh, your genomes could be playing a role. Could be. And biology. There could be something going on with your body naturally. It's not very often, but sometimes it's a natural occurring thing. It happens more often in some people than it does others. Uh, so just something to watch out for. Brain chemistry imbalance. Uh, you know, when we talk about that, I'm not an expert, like I said, but brain chemistry imbalance means something's going wrong up here uh, and it could lead you into depression. We all know that. But a lot of times it's usually because... Uh, you know, there's something going on with one of your other bo body parts, like your thyroid glands, your parathyroid glands. Maybe your liver's acting up, pancreatitis, uh, which uh, been, you know we've been on that during the last 18 months. You know, that could cause it. You know what? Another one is female sex hormones. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's true. Okay. I I'm not about hiding nothing. Let's put it out there. You know, females know you naturally go through depression, especially right after pregnancy. How about this? Have you ever heard of the circadian rhythm uh, dysfunction or disturbance? We all know what that is. Come on, we know. You know too. Change of seasons. 
people get more depressed during the holidays. You know that, I know that. Okay, poor nutrition. And I can't say a lot in this area because uh, uh, I, am, I am overweight, uh, but I am working on getting more healthier. My doctors are, are pushing me like a bulldozer. Get better, Paul. Uh, I'm having to learn these lessons myself. So it's not, I'm not any better than you. I'm just trying to show you what I've learned. Uh, physical health problems. Uh, you know, when I went through my battle with cancer. Oh, oh, oh boy. Okay. Uh, uh, and I've experienced other health problems like COPD. Uh, again, we talked about my wife and her pancreatitis. Uh, it's a physical health problem. Drugs, alcohol. Come on, we all know this story. This is the most common type uh, that we see out there. People, they take drugs, they take alcohol, and it leads down depression. How that actually happens is, is they get depressed about something, and instead of doing what they need to do about it, they take a little bit of drugs uh, or drink a little alcohol, things they have access to, and and uh, we're going to talk about more about that here in just a minute. Uh, stressful life events. Uh, not just soldiers. I'm not taking anything away from our soldiers and our police officers and our other uh, civil service employees. Uh, they feel this too. But stressful life events, also known as PTSD, that's uh, very huge right now. Very huge. <clears throat> Grief and loss. Have you lost your loved one? Did you lose your job? Lose a pet? These are the top 10 causes of depression. And, you know, and, and what we try to educate you on this for is to say, you're going through this. No, that's not what we try to do. What we're trying to do is to say, you need to watch out for these things in your life. You know, because <clears throat> not having God in your life and uh, is, a, is a stressor for that. Also, Physical health problems, when you put physical health problems together, poor nutrition, okay, and then stressful life events, you know, so, you know <laughs> guess what? You're probably in depression or you're on the edge of it. And what we're trying to do is show you something. That's all we're trying to do is show you something. If you're dealing with any one of these in your life, and most of us do at some point or another, it's just easy for us, it's easy for us to ignore this. But we shouldn't. You are walking a line with depression. Doesn't mean you're in depression. You're walking a line with it. And if you're walking a line with depression, this is like a warning for you. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to warn you about these things. We try to do it in a fun way, uh, in a weird way sometimes. And uh, <coughs> forgive me. But we're still trying to remind you that these things are real. And if you're not careful, you might find yourself deep down this path of depression and you didn't even realize it's coming. So we're trying to give you a map saying, hey, did you know this could be happening in your life? This does not guarantee you won't go into depression. But I can say this. If you see this or you think there's a potential, even if you don't think there's a potential, can I encourage you to make a plan? Write down a plan, make a plan, set goals, short-term, long-term goals. Y'all have heard this story before about planning. It works well with depression. And of all things, have a purpose, have a reason why you do what you do. And that's our message that we wanted to bring you today uh, about depression awareness. Our goal and our job that we have taken on, because we believe that's what God wants us to do, is to warn you about these things that could be happening in your life. Well, why would God want you to know about this? Because if you have these things operating in your life, they could pull you away from God. They can keep you from what God wants you to do. They could keep you out of your ministry. They could keep you uh, away from your family, your friends, your children. There's a reason why suicide is so high with people with depression. Because they feel lost and alone. And so we simply encourage people to talk about it. Don't <laughs> get it out of your closet. Talk to your family about it. Talk to your friends about it. Look at somebody say, I just need somebody to talk to and clear my head. You know, and I do know. Because when I was in college, getting my college degree and of all things, social psychology, if you want to know uh, my background in education, so... I got a degree in Victim Survivor Services, uh, which means I got an AS degree in Social Psychology. One of the things they require you to do to pass that class is you have to 
sign up and go talk to a psychologist and you have to just work through whatever problems you have, go. Even if there's nothing going on, you should go and make an appointment. Why? Because of transference. So you don't transfer your own problems onto somebody else. And, you know, and I found that to be very healthy. So, you know, just get your ducks in a row. And if you are going through depression, don't be afraid to go to a mental health advisor. To, to go to a guidance center or a mental health facility. Now, I'm not talking about the crazy farm. I'm talking about just sitting down with a counselor or a psychologist and say, hey, look, I just need to put this out on the table and I just need somebody to look at it with me and make sure all my ducks in a row. It's that simple. It's that simple. This is Matt and Peg coming to you. Uh, from Peg Sealing Paws, and we just wanted to give you that service announcement uh, so you kind of understand why we're doing this. And, and, and yeah, we're floating on a ship, and you know, uh, and we're in trouble because we're, we're our ship broke down in the middle of our story. You, you guys should be right there with that story right now if you're watching our videos. Um, and because depression is real, sometimes you break down in life. That's why we're doing it that way. We didn't expect that to happen. Yet some of y'all know about it. But we're making it real for you. We're doing it in a fun way with teddy bears. We're still making it real for you. It happens. And you need to go get fixed. You need help. And if you're not dealing with depression or you don't have depression, please go back to where I put this up. Take a screenshot of it. Put it on your refrigerator. Memorize it. Just have it there around you all the time. Because who knows, you, you might have a stressful life event. Uh, you might be dealing with a, a, an illness, a medical problem. Uh, you, might, you might, It might be the holidays. And you might go, hey, you might be able to go that. You know, the holidays are coming. And I just need to be mindful of aware of this in my life. That's what we're trying to do. So, with that said, y'all have a wonderful day. Uh, remember... Uh, you know, remember the elephant in the room? <laughs> don't let the elephant uh, blow his horn in his room. In your room, go talk about it. Even if you don't have it, go talk about it. Okay, encourage other people to talk about it. Depression is a killer, if it's allowed to be. But depression can be stopped, dead in its tracks, if we simply step out by faith and talk about it. Again, this is Matt and Pay coming to you from my house. Sorry for the long video. But this service announcement was important. And we're saying, please be safe, be smart, have a purpose, and let God be part of that purpose through your life. Okay, and let now faith be with you always. That's Hebrews 11 and 6. Y'all have a good day.